Are y'all ready for this? All right. Today I'm doing UIL number since test, high school test A from 2022. So this is number since test 2022. And in this video, I'm going to go over the first 20 problems, 1 through 20, and go in detail and go over some of the shortcuts, some of the tricks from number sense. This is mental mathematics, and all problems are to be solved mentally. All problems are to be solved mentally. You can only write down the answers. Start problems or approximations. Now, if you hang on around to the end of the video, I will add a couple of bonus problems from Beyond 20. And uh, if you have any questions on this, make sure you write in the comments. If you're not sure about something, we'll make a separate video for you. Okay. So let's get started with number one. 122 times 5. I would multiply 5 times 2 is 10. Write a 0 and carry 1. 5 times 12 is 60 plus 1 is 61. So you don't have to do digit by digit. You can just do it that way. Number 2, you add 1 third plus 1 half. And that would be 5 over 6. Because you're going to have 2 over 6 plus 3 over 6. And then 2 plus 3 is 5. And the next one is 162 divided by 3. 3 goes into 16 5 times. And then subtract 15 you're going to have 1 2 12 3 goes into 12 4 times so what i really have is 16.2 divided by 3 16 divided by 3 is going to be 5.4 now for number 4 i'm going to do a cross product here 7 times 2 this is 14 and 5 times 4 this is 20. so what i have here is i have 14 minus 20 which is a negative 6 and then I multiply 5 times 7 is 35. Now, I am writing here these numbers. You're not allowed to write that. I'm only doing this for the explanation. You can only write down the answers on these. So number 4 should be negative 6 over 35. Number 5 is 12 cubed. 12 cubed is 1,728. And I think you should memorize the first 12 cubes. If you didn't, then you'd have to do 144 times 12 the long way. 12 times 4, and then 12 times 14, plus your carry. Number 6, 23 times 52 minus 23 times 29. So I see I can factor out a 23. If I factor out a 23, I'm going to have 52 minus the 29. And if you can add 1 to each one, I would have 53 minus 30. What's 53 minus 30? 23. 23 times 23 that I factored out, that's 23 squared, which is 529. And again, you should memorize 23 squared. Okay, for further explanation, if you did not have 23 squared memorized, then you would subtract 3 to get 20, and then you would add 3 to get 26. So then you multiply 20 times 26, which is 520, plus 3 squared which is 9, and that gives you the 529. Why 3 squared? Because I subtract 3 and I added 3. That's 3 squared. So 529 is the answer. The, this particular method will work for any number that's being squared if you have not memorized it. Number 7, 4 fifths equals what? 4 fifths is 0.8, but they want the answer as a percent. So that would be 80%. 4 out of 5 is 80%. Number 8 is another percent question. 48 is what percent of 160? So what I'm thinking is I'm thinking 48 over 160 and then times 100 to change the percent. So I can reduce that by a factor of 16. So 16 goes into 48 three times and 16 goes into that 10 times. 3 is what percent of 10? That's 30%. So for number 8, it should be 30%. Number 9, 2 times 3 plus 5, 3 plus 5 is 8, 2 times 8 is 16, 16 divided by a negative 4, that would be a negative 4. Number 10 is an approximation, I'm going to add 22 plus 22 plus 22, you have 66, then I'm going to add 100, 700, 500 is 1200, 1300, carry a 1, 10 plus 20 is 30, plus the 1 that I carried, that's 31 plus 2 more, that'd be 33. So the answer here should be 33,366 as an approximation. 
Okay. How many pints in a quart? There's two pints per quart, and there's four quarts per gallon. So that means that there's eight pints for every gallon. So eight times three, that would give you 24 pints. Number 12 is a question for GCD and LCM. It's a combination, a combo. So you need GCD to find LCM anyway. So between 12 and 40, I know that 4 goes into 40 and 4 goes into 12. So the GCD for 12 and 40 is going to be 4. The LCM will be the product of the two. Divide one of those by 4. 40 divided by 4 is 10. 10 times 12 is 120. So all I have to do is add 120 plus the 4 for the GCD. That's 124. So number 12, the answer should be 124. 14 times 31. You can do 14 times 1. That's 14. Write a 4, carry 1. 14 times 3 is 42. Plus the 1 that we carried would be 43. And there's other ways to, of doing that. Some students would multiply 14 times 30 plus 14. Or maybe they could do foil. You could do uh, 4 times 1 is 4. And then you do the outer and the inner. 12 plus 1 is 13. Write a 3, carry a 1. And then you do the first with the first. 1 times 3 is 3 plus the carry is 4. So I find that for small numbers, it's easier to multiply 14 times 1 and 14 times 3. But you could do it any way that you want for that one. Number 14, a 15% tip on a $34 dinner is how much? How much is a tip? Well, if it was 10%, it would be $340. And if it was 20%, it would be $680. So it's going to be a number right between $340 and $680. What you can do is you can multiply 15 times 34 using the double and a half method. If I double the 15, I'm going to have a 30. And I half the, the 34, that would be a 17. So I have 0.30 times 17, that would be 510, $5.10. Number 15 has a special shortcut where you're adding a fraction plus its reciprocal, 10 11 plus 11 over 10. The answer is always going to be 2 and a fraction, so I'm going to write the 2 down. Now the difference between 11 and 10 is 1, so I'll square the 1. 1 squared is 1. And my denominator is 11 times 10, so that would be 110. Pretty cool shortcut. If you like these shortcuts, hit the like button. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. Number 16. What is the mode for 2515213411? I see a lot of ones there. 111. I see two fives, two twos. So the mode is the one that appears the most. And for number 16, it looks like 1 appears 3 times, and that would be the answer for that one. Okay, number 17 is the last one in the first column. The number of positive integral divisors of 40. So you can say, well, I'm going to just write down factors 1 and 40. You can do 2 and 20. Or you can do 4 and 10. Or you can do 5 and 8. And uh, that's about it. So there's 8 factors there. Now there is maybe an easier way. Is if you prime factor 40. That would be 2 cubed. Times. 8 times 5. And 5 to the first. So that's in prime factorization. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add 1 to each of the exponents. So when I add 1 to each of the exponents, I now have 4 times 2. That gives me 8. And that's how you find the number of the positive integral divisors for any number. Prime factorization, and then add 1 to the exponents and multiply those together. Okay, we're now in the second column. Number 18 is 33 times 27. And what I see here is... 30 plus 3 and 30 minus 3, that'd be 30 squared minus 9. 900 minus 9 is 891. So, just to make notes here, that's 30 plus 3 and 30 minus 3. Middle number's 30. And so what I'm doing is I'm doing 900 minus the 9, the outer and inner cancel. 
900 minus 9 is 891. Number 19 is a remainder problem. And when you're dividing by 6, it has to be an even and also divisible by 3. So I'm going to add 1 plus 7 is 8 plus 2 is 10 plus 5 is 15. 15 minus 12, 12 is a factor of 6. 15 minus 12 is 3, so the remainder here is 3. 700 times 200 times 22. So we've got a lot of hundreds here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just, for the example, I'm going to write 700 times 200 times 22. So for these two zeros, you write two zeros. For these two zeros, you write two more zeros. So you have four zeros. So now I have to do 7 times 2 times 22. So 7 times 2 is 14. 14 times 22, think of 22 as 2 times 11. So I have 14 times 2 is 28, and then 28 times 11. 11 shortcut is, I'm going to have 8. 2 plus 8 is 10, carry 1. 2 plus 1 is 3. So as an approximation, I have uh, about 3,080,000, or 308 with four zeros, and that's right in there within the plus or minus range of 5%. Okay, so now you've been waiting for the bonus questions. And I'm going to go through these questions here and see which are some good bonus problems for you. Uh, number 23 looks like an interesting. So we're going to call this the bonus problem. A to the X is 12.8. And what is A to the X minus 2? So what I have here is I have 8 to the minus 2, which is 1 over 64. So I have to multiply this times 1 over 64, or divide by 64. 128 divided by 64 is exactly 2. But this is actually 0.2 or 1 fifth because of the decimal. 0 0.2 was the answer for number 23. Number 29. 95 written in base 6 is what? So we want to convert this to base 6. Take 95 and divide it by 6, it gives you a remainder of 5. So you write the remainder down. So when you take 90 divided by 6, you have a 15 left over. 15 divided by 6 is 2 remainder 3. So the answer is 235 in base 6. Number 30 is an approximation. And so if you're dividing by 123, 124, 125, 126, 127, anything close to 125... Think of 125. If I multiply this by 8 here, I've got to multiply this by 8. But when you have 123 or, say, 125 times 8, this is pretty close to 1,000. So when you divide by 1,000, you drop the last three digits. So all I have to do is 150 times 8. And if I multiply 150 times 8, I write a 0 for the 150. And then 15 times 8 is what? You know what 15 times 8 is, right? 120. Of course, you can double that. It'd be 16 times 30 times uh, 40. Yeah, 30 times 4, 120. So 1200 is a pretty good approximation as well within the range. And that is number 30. And I think that's going to be it for this test. Now, if you have any questions, uh, leave it down in the comments. And if you haven't subscribed by now, make sure you subscribe so you can see more of these videos coming up. Are you getting the notifications? YouTube provides notifications. If you, if you tap on the bell next to the subscription sign, you'll be notified of any new videos coming up, and I plan to make more of these. As soon as we get more students uh, signing up for this, students, let your uh, teammates know about this. Let, let your classmates know about this channel. We also have SAT and ACT problem reviews. There's other playlists there that you might be, in, be interested in. So... Uh, teachers, let your students know about this. And uh, leave a comment down there if you're getting ready for a competition sometime soon. Let me know. I wish you good luck in your next competition. Thank you, and we'll see you in the next video.